Jackson. I'm a professional racing driver, motoring journalist, and entrepreneur. And I love modern wheels. They're fast, reliable, and sexy. I'm Elo. I'm a car collector. With a collection of over 200 cars, I absolutely love cool, quirky, classic cars. If a buyer gives me a budget and an idea of what they want, I can find them a modern car that ticks all their boxes. Modern cars are all well and good, but I'll find a buyer something classic that will blow your minds away. But will they go for one of my classic steels? Or one of my modern wheels? So we've got four cars, two modern, two classic, one buyer, one budget. Who, though, out of the two of us is going to part that buyer with his hard-earned cash? For sure, I'm not worried. Well, he wants a real motor car. That's what you think, Elo. Well, let's find out a little bit more about him, shall we? For sure. I am George Giorgio. I'm 54 and I'm from London. The old Range Rover's getting a bit long in the teeth, so it's time for a change. I'm looking for something a bit different, uh, but my wife wants another Range Rover. We need something that could hack along the M40 every week uh, to the Cotswold, but also go down to the south of France uh, at the drop of a hat. I'd like four seats, decent boot space, something quite sporty, something with a bit of power. I don't want interstellar mileage, so the budget I have is 20 to 45,000 pounds. Let's, I mean, let's see what the guys have come up with. Welcome, George. Hi. Nice <laughs> to be here. Just as a recap, you've got between 20 and 45,000 pounds to spend. What's the dilemma? The dilemma is I want a Maserati and my wife, she wants me to get another Range Rover. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll keep you on good terms with your wife. And I'll start that freedom. <laughs> OK. Have you ever heard the expression, happy wife, happy life? Yes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to what you brought along. We've got two great cars here. Which one would you like to see first? Um, let's go with that one. Come this way. I'm quite excited to show you this car, George. It is powerful. Long journeys are almost effortless because it's so comfortable and it is super luxurious. OK. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Fire away. You sure? Do it. Yeah, do it. It is a 2006 Bentley Continental GT. My first set of modern wheels has a powerful 6-litre W12 petrol engine that can push out a whopping 552 brake horsepower with a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. With a high-spec interior finish that oozes luxury and a price tag of 31995 I think this will be an excellent option for George. Bentley. Yes, luxurious. It's definitely powerful. OK, good. Definitely luxurious. Yes. So it ticks those boxes. There's a slight image problem, I would say. Right. <laughs> OK. I'm so glad you said that. Don't dismiss it just yet. No, no. Let, let's have a look at the other car, see what you think about it. OK, that let's well. do that. Follow me to this amazing piece of machinery, something that screams real cars for real men. OK. You like travelling to yeah. the south of France. What about travelling in something like this? <laughs> That's a motor car. My first car is this 2007 Morgan Roadster. Under the hood, it's a 2-litre Ford engine which pumps out 140 bhp and goes 0 to 60 in 7.6 seconds. Based on the original 1950 design, it's finished in a glorious Jaguar Radian Red and has a lavish interior that guarantees to press. With only one previous owner and just 5,000 miles on the clock, it's an absolute steal. It's an interesting choice. 140 brake horsepower. Feels mm. fast and a little baby like this. Wait until you drive it. You're selling it to me. But it is a little bit like driving around in a Cotswold cottage. Well, <laughs> the point here is it's a 2007. It's a classic because of its heritage, its, its design. It is a replica of a classic <laughs> made by the same company who made them in the first place. It is not a classic. It is a classic. Okay. 
You've seen the first two cars, George, yeah. but which one would you like to test drive first? I think I'm going to go for power first. Come this way. Well, he's gone for the Bentley. He's gone safe. To be honest, when he drives a Morgan, the Bentley is forgotten. And if that's not enough, my second car has got the Bentley and much more. That I can guarantee, because he's going to think he is the boss. W12 petrol engine underneath the bonnet. With a couple of turbos. It clings. Yes, it's quite fast. Yeah, it, it, def it definitely pulls. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little surprised by your reaction in the studio, I must say. What's your beef with it? Um, it, it is a bit of a footballer's car. This car oozes style. It is really, really gorgeous and very classy. Well, it's very classy on the inside. I'll give you that. Take it from me, George. I know my cars, and this is a classy car. How many seats did your wife want? Um, well, it's, it's more a case of having enough luggage space, so it would be a four-seater with a, with a big boot. These, these cars have a fairly big boot and they have two rear seats, so... That's the thing, yeah. We've got the practicality and four-seater box well and truly ticked. It's there or thereabouts? It's there, George. <laughs> you know it's there. I think on a long journey down to the south of France or around the Cotswolds, I think your wife is going to be very, very happy in this car. Well, it's four-wheel drive as well. So I could almost say it's an SUV. Uh... <laughs> there you go, see? Another box ticked. Yeah. It's a really, really lovely cabin, isn't it? It's Karen's gorgeous. It's really put together well. All the bits are nicely done. Yes, very well made. And the good news is it sits right smack bang in the middle of how much you would like to spend. Right. It's 31995 It's a lot of car for the money. It's a lot of car for the money. You're absolutely right. At 70 miles to the gallon, who wants a Bentley to go to the south of France? This is a better proposition. This Morgan is quintessentially stylish. It's everything there is with a bit of heritage and finesse. This is style. George, blue skies, sunny day. This is it. This is the moment where you understand the real beauty of owning a roadster, a real car. Couldn't have chosen a better day for it. There's nothing better than driving a sports car in the blazing sunshine with the wind in your hair. Would I have a smile on my face driving in Croydon on a wet Monday morning? You would. With 145 brake, 0 to 6 in 7.6 seconds, this is not just a cruiser, it's also a sports car. I mean, this car goes super fast. Woo! Now we're talking. There we go. Listen to that. It's like music to your ears. George wants four seats. The Morgan's only got two. Elo's meant to be supplying classics. The Morgan was made in 2007. Elo has not met the brief. What a gorgeous vehicle. <laughs> it's good fun, but it's not the most comfortable car in the world. It hasn't got a boot. As a second car, it would work. <laughs> well, well, well. Now we've got option two. You wanted a real Bentley. 
This sophisticated 1994 Bentley Continental R is a car lover's dream. This model is one of only 1,504 cars ever made worldwide. It's a highly collectible model with great investment potential. At this price, it's a steal. That's a proper Bentley. There we go. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> this is what touring is all about. You can jump in this car and you can go to India for tea. Good choice. Don't get carried away here, boys. Look at this. This is a 2017 Maserati Levante. My 2017 Maserati Levante is the perfect choice for George. It has a modern and intelligent four-wheel drive system with a V6 diesel engine and being a top of the range model, it's fitted with all the modern gadgets. This is one sporty SUV that will make both short and long journeys feel effortless. Good, good colour combination by the look of it. It's a great colour combination, it looks fantastic, it drives like a dream and not only does it have that sports car feel, it's going to keep wife at home very happy. But why would you want to buy a car that in three years' time you want to sell it when this is going to be like putting a bar of gold in the bank? If it makes it to three years' time. This one, on the <laughs> other hand, has reliability and will get you to your destination. It's got a warranty, that's true. But that has a bit more style, I would say. I'll have to drive them. I'll have to drive them and see what, what okay. they're like. Which one would you like to drive first? I'm going to relax here. Take your time. I'm feeling confident. Seeing as you're so confident, let's go with the Levante first. <laughs> Ladies first. Yeah. The driver's seat. Okay, lovely. Maserati has been quite careful to still give you that sports car feel. So, for example, around this corner, can you feel how great the steering feels? It's hydraulic steering, so it's old-fashioned steering. Okay, it's proper steering car. rather than an electric system. Exactly. It feels nice. What you also might like about this car is that although it's an SUV and is capable of four-wheel drive, the power runs through the rear wheels and it only goes to the front wheels when it needs it. OK, so it's an intelligent four-wheel drive system. Exactly, and more akin to a sports car. It actually feels quite nice. It feels quite sporty for an SUV. There you go. It's only done 3,000 miles. You've got two years left on the warranty and it's unlimited mileage. That's... that's quite nice. Yes, you can have several trips down to the south of France <laughs> without feeling like it's compromising your warranty. <laughs> and remind me what type of car your wife wants. She wants another Range Rover. Right, OK, yeah. so she wants an SUV. This car is a sports car and an SUV combined. You've got a bias of the power going to the rear wheels, so yep. it feels more like a sports car. The power only goes to the front wheels when it needs it. You've got your hydraulic steering, you've got the Maserati badge, the premium interior. It's a really, really nice place to sit in. It's uh, lovely, it looks, isn't it? It's really nicely trimmed out. It looks really good. Yes. It, it looks and feels like a new car. Um, and that's the big that's the big difference between this and the older cars we've seen. Well, you'll be pleased to know that this is up for just under £47,000. OK. A new one can easily set you back £90,000. Exactly. So this is absolutely great news for you because you can get into a car that is almost brand new at the fraction of the cost. Of, of a brand new car, yeah, yeah. And it looks feels and smells like a new car. Exactly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your test drive, George, and now you're going to be getting into an old Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Levante is boring. Everybody in George's neighborhood owns a Levante. On the other hand, the Bentley Continental R is a gentleman's car for a real British gentle. So, George, first impression, what do you think of the Bentley? It's a brilliant bit of sculpture. It's a really, really lovely design. It's one of the most stylish Bentleys ever made. Well, when it comes to style and power, this car delivers both of them 100%. I mean, it's, it's very, very stylish. I, I'll give you that. And it's, a, it's an inspired choice. This is it. 
This ticks all the boxes. Power, style, pizzazz. At 275,000 pounds when this car was first introduced. Oh, yeah. Buying it at this price, you could not get better. I oh, mean, no, I steal. can't even explain how good this deal is. At 30 something thousand, putting it in the bank, you might as well put it in this car. And enjoy it. I and think enjoy you're right. it. No, I think you're right. This is the epitome of coolness. This is King Cool. A real Bentley built in the UK for real gentlemen. It's definitely a proper Bentley. It has got a bit of an old boy image to it. It may feel old, yeah. but style never dates. I'm not saying I don't like it. I think out of the two Bentleys, this is the one. The Bentley Continental R is an upmarket looking car, yes, but it is too soft, it's not nimble enough, and it weighs almost two and a half tonnes without the driver. It is not best suited to those long road trips down to the south of France. George, you've driven all four cars. It's decision time. You need to make your mind up. I hope you keep the royal family flag flying. <laughs> it's, it's definitely... It's definitely something that I would consider. Bentley Continental was the first thing I tried. I've, I've actually driven one before, so I've had an idea of what they were all about. Uh, but actually sort of flooring one and having a, a really good driving one reminded me how, how powerful it was. And it goes a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the idea of a, a two-seater sports car. Driving the Morgan in clear blue skies, you know, on a country track, uh, you can't really get better than that. Woo! It's like music to your ears. The Levante pretty much ticks all the boxes. It's four-wheel drive, it's big and roomy, it's really nicely finished. It's a Maserati, so it's, it's got, a, it's got a, a, a nice name to it. The only problem I would have is that it's a diesel. And it's, yeah, I, it, it, it's, a, it's a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. It actually feels quite nice. It feels quite sporty for an SUV. Elo's second choice, the Bentley Continental R, was I, th I thought was inspired. It's a really pretty car. It's really luxurious inside. It's one of the most stylish Bentleys ever made. The only problem is it, it might need quite a lot of upkeep. Out of the four cars I've tried, I've got, I've got an idea of a favourite. Um, it's, it, it, it's, it's the possibility between two. So we've had four great test drives, Elo. I have to say that when I unveiled my Bentley Continental GT, I was a little bit worried. But as soon as he went out in the car, he really enjoyed it. I think he was very disappointed that you actually chose a car that is so dated. I mean, <laughs> Hang on, I, dated? I had to show him a car that was built in 2007, but with the 1950s design, and it lit him up. I love a Morgan but it is not a classic, Elo. Well, technically, it's more than a classic. It's never changed its DNA from when it was built. That is what you call a surviving classic. I appreciate the cars you have chosen. The Bentley, it is a lovely classic, but he wants to get to the south of France. He doesn't want to break down, and he doesn't want to keep on refueling it. So for that reason, my Levante is the winner. If he's got any sense in him, he'll go for the Continental R, the fun and the smiles, and I wish you were in the test drive. He was alive. One of your cars doesn't qualify, and the other car will break down. Let's not argue about that. Let's no, wait and see. That's what a man what says when he knows that he is wrong. That's what a man says when he's confident he's got this one in the bag. Uh, we'll see about that. Let's let's have a look, shall we? For sure. Sold out, mankind. <laughs> Go, leave that loser behind. <laughs>
I'm gutted that George did not choose one of my two classics. I guess the Levante is not a bad choice for George. But guess what? I'll be back. Smart choice. I am so pleased that we have managed to find you a car that suits you and your wife. Yeah, I think it's, it's the right way to go. Yes. It's the right way to go.